Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to In Alex's Shook Reaction. And I am super excited because for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new video. Now, this one is actually called Watch Me Eat Cheese Balls in Bed, a little mukbang moment. She did say that she wasn't going to bring them back, but it kind of gives me flashbacks to her hot Cheetos eat with me. Her original mukbangs had to be the most low effort mukbangs on YouTube, even more so than Foodie Beauty. Beauty, if you can believe that, crying about my ex. So this is what kind of got my attention for the video, not gonna lie. Another video, another wifey moment. What is it this time? We'll take a look and see. Lastly, going to an arcade vlog. You know what Eric Cook would say about that arcade? No one cares. A little birdie told me there was also a grocery haul moment. So let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Mm-hmm. All righty. I wanted to film this earlier, but my nose has just been running all day. One of those situations. Gotta love it. I mean, and that's just when you're at work, it's fine, right? You just have a tissue. But nobody wants to watch a YouTuber blowing their nose. Remember when Chantal used to do that? All right. Hello, hello. I don't know about y'all, but today is just actually not my day. Yeah, and it wasn't good. At all. I'm just having one of those really Hey girl, it's another one of those days for our girl. It doesn't seem as though any day has been good to her lately, ever since wifey left. Although she has been having a good time with her family here and there, and she is happy that she feels accepted for who she is there in Oklahoma, because I can imagine having reservations. You hear Oklahoma, you don't exactly think super LGBTQ friendly, but weird days where I'm just like over it and I think because surprised. as you guys know I have um lipedema and I also have lymphedema which yeah. is not fun but when I woke up today like I can always tell like how swollen I'm gonna be for the that's one of those things where depending on what she eats is if it's uber eats very high in sodium the next day she's gonna wake up and she's gonna feel that so I do wonder what happened this time did we get the old Pizza Hut. I got Papa John's the other day, but I'm not exactly swollen today. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, um, just based on like me first stepping out of bed and I just dropped my AirPods. Yeah. Oh my God. See, not my day. You know how many times I've dropped these though? I wonder if Feline would like do the massages because if you have lipedema, lymphedema, they do certain massages if you go into probably a physical therapist, right? like the little guys just go running for their life but yeah they still manage to work they're pretty amazing i will say anyways back to what i'm saying so oh yeah i've dropped my airpods i've dropped them into the sink while washing my face <laughs> can't even take them out for that i got out of bed today i was like oh my god i'm so swollen the more swollen i feel like the worse my breathing is it's just like not a good day and i literally still have not weighed myself since the first day of me living here She's getting like complacent, like Tammy Slayton. It was years. She was so obese that she just decided to ignore it and never weigh herself until she got on the show and they finally put her on an industrial size scale. It's also a horrible day out today. So that is contributing to my mood. Not to mention all the antihistamines that don't even work. And it's been... Mm, like six weeks but i can without a doubt like i'm looking in the mirror right now like i'm telling you guys without a doubt i have gained weight i know that i feel it i see it and i hate that i literally hate that feeling i can't really tell i mean when you're 500 pounds and you put on 20 more or whatever it is 15 more 10 more 30 more even it's hard for the audience to tell but with amber one of my the way that I tell is her face because it always goes right to her face first. So I definitely need to get like on track tomorrow. Like literally though, Thanksgiving's coming up and like- And I feel that too, cause I get like really chubby cheeks. Past Amberlynn is usually like, oh, we should wait until like after Thanksgiving or we should just wait until after Christmas or we should just like wait until New Year's. But I feel like if I wait another month, um, that's not gonna be good. So <laughs> she's off track. Wait, so is she going to be doing some sort of plan? Did she see what's going on with Foodie? Of course she did. I did notice that Foodie's views have gotten better ever since she came on and said that she was diagnosed with diabetes. This isn't really the arc that you want for yourself, but if you got it, flaunt it. Does that fit? <laughs> we need to like, like kick it into high gear. Where's my ring at? Actually, 
keep it in the kitchen because I did dishes last night. And I don't wear my jewelry when I'm washing my dishes. I was washing my dishes. Is she still clinging on to a ring that Feline purchased for her? Is that what this is? <laughs> You're manipulating the narrative. That's not even true. Just speculation. She was while my mom was over and she was like, oh my God, you take off your jewelry while you wash your dishes? I was like, yeah, mom. Um, isn't that a thing that people do? I don't know. Yes, here it is. Some people do. Some people can't get them off, right? Yes, I love wearing rings. I also need to do my nails. I it kind of looks like, okay, no, it doesn't. But remember the engagement ring to Becky? And then she actually sold it. And repainted them. So off of the day of my dirty mirror, we're just sticking to simple today. Not me using you Or was it Becky that sold it? Did she sell it or did Becky sell it? I can't remember. Becky was trying to sell it on Facebook because the girls caught it. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you know, you know. HD Kisses by Revlon. Literally the best. That's the one that she always wears. Should I get it? Product reveal? Amber loves a good Mexican restaurant. Wasn't she just at Mexican? Dave and Buster's. Um, actually, we just got into the parking lot, but I'd still be listening to Carly Steele. I love her music. Like, oh my God. And I love you, Carly. Dave Is that text you first? Because I like that song too by Carly. And Amber, where's your cherry tigo? Busters. Neither where's your cherry tigo? Us have ever been here before, so I love an arcade. You guys know that about me. All right. Weird. I've been to one with my nieces and nephews. Well, niece and nephews. Head on over to the prize corner. Is Amber someone who drinks in public or does she just drink when she's on her own alone in the apartment? Because that is something that alcoholics do. Like they won't even drink in public. Maybe they know. I'm not saying she is one. I'm not. She's not. She's not. But like they won't drink in public because they know it's going to go downhill really quickly. So they would rather just do it at home and they don't leave their house much. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, Amber. I got faith in you. I look like a mom right now. Come on, Amber. I love that. Oh, my God. oh that's it. You go, that, that's my little girl. That's my little girl. Don't say anything. Don't comment that. 16. 16. We are about to fight some sharks. I'm just gonna go to sleep after this. They literally have Mar Is this an Amber Lynn lullaby? Can we get to the crying section? Oh Jesus, shook. Mario Kart. Oh my God. A dude Mario Kart arcade. I'm about to whoop her butt. I used to play this with my sister like all day. We loved some Connect Four. I'm about to win. She really beat her. So if you guys remember, I love this one. It's the piano one. And I, I'm on the leaderboard oh, yeah. twice. Yes, I am. Number one. I remember leader. when she did that with Eric and Ricky. Do I film you? Dana oh, and Destiny. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is a classic clip, actually. She's recreating a classic here, guys. We're witnessing. This will probably be in somebody's intro. Like one of the clip channels or Karina. Let's see what I got. She's a nice lady. Oh my gosh. You're Number kidding, one. Right? Yeah, these three are mine. Wow. I bet you I could beat Amber. I'm pretty good at rhythm games. All right, we're going to check my card. I have 974 tickets. All right, what can you get? And my mom has. Your mom beat you at the Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> I know it's not, but... That's my narrative. They went to a Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, so with the tickets, my mom got this little bell for her boss. Literally says, like, a boss. It's so cute. Cute, cute. Then I got this cutie. It's a really big otter. He just looks so shy. And, like, he needed a little home. Okay, I have a really quick grocery haul. I just got a few things. I got two of these for a Twinkie. Ooh, I love seeing the grocery hauls. 
I was gonna say that's for a dog, right? <laughs> what if Amber got really hungry one night? It's just like wholesome bowls. I got two things of pork chops for me. Two things of my favorite. What's with all the pork chops lately? It makes me want to try pork chops. I never get her with this chicken breast. Like, wouldn't you be afraid of that more so than actually deli fresh meats? Not our girl. She loves that ultra processed stuff. She's not nervous about that because it tastes like home. Um, lunch meat, deli fresh, which is three seasoned chicken breast, some string yep. cheese. And then she's going to pair those together. I got two of these. Quick uh, little taste test moment. Got to get the Febreze. Febreze's in Mountain. Smells so good. I needed some minced garlic, some garlic salt. I got two cans of chicken. I needed some more. Oh, yeah. Chicken in a can. <laughs> mascara. I've been using the Maybelline Lash. That's good for like a casserole. There is tuna noodle casserole. Have you guys ever made that? But you could substitute in the chicken instead, and it tastes pretty much the same, just not fishy. Sensational, so got that. I needed a new makeup brush. That's a got comfort food for me. Some of these, which they're just Ziploc bags, and then- Oh, she went to Walmart. Diet Dr. Pepper, and my favorite, which is the Zero Gatorade and Glacier Freeze. It is that time where the leaves are literally everywhere. I'm starting to get a little bit sick of Gatorade. It's like all I've been drinking for the past two years. And water, of course, especially with my Stanley. I've really been upping my water intake, my water game. I recommend, it's my first cup like that. You guys know every six months, even less, every three months, there's a new cup on TikTok that you have to buy. But this is my first one, so. So, so he's chewing. Do you love it? We love the leaves. Queen, it's super queen. super today, though. But right now, it's not raining. Y'all, I'm literally just sitting in bed, and I'm about to have some of these Cheeto mini cheddar things. Cheese. Is this what the title's about? She's in her bed having Cheetos. Flavored snacks. Like Didn't she say she was going to make her video 12 minutes? This one is exactly 12 minutes. Single can. I've never seen such a thing before. Um, I do goals, want to, like, girl. get on, like, a good track tomorrow. Like, I'm going to weigh myself for the first time in a hot minute if she wants to get on a good track why would she buy those in the first place because she was just at the grocery store that's the key just don't bring it home <laughs> i can't control myself when i have a bag of chips but i get the three or four serving bags i don't buy a family size bag now have i gotten a can of pringles before of course salt and vinegar all the way it's opening it so here all that yeah, just... but that's also a lot smaller than like a family size bag of chips you know it is, what it is. <laughs> just Everyone like balls in bed, folks. that's what i would do because i don't like cheeto fingers i hate anything on my fingers that's the thing sometimes i want kids and then other times i'm like absolutely not especially because everything is sticky you have to continuously get those clorox wipes wipe the counter wipe the table wipe everything because kids are just sticky and i hate sticky so my balls all touch my mouth oh uh -huh. not bad tastes exactly like you think it would cheese balls okay come through queen behavior just kidding she's eating cheetos what is this about before i weigh myself tomorrow and like try to not eat junk and stuff i wanted to eat some junk and it's almost like a last hurrah amberlynn has a last hurrah this sounded good to me. Do you think I can catch this in my mouth? Let's try. What did Foodie do? The fast food funeral. This is Amber's junk food funeral. There's a lot of sodium in these kinds of snacks. Maybe she thinks that she should go into this with a higher weight. So that way it'll be easier for her to begin the journey. Does that make sense? <laughs> Almost like how she would always start her journeys at 572.4, even though that's what she weighed in 2019. She would start the journeys like that in 2022, and then she would have already lost weight. I've, I'm already down 45 pounds. No. Since 2019, girl. Trying to cheat your way out of weight loss. Just kidding. So this is for the girlies who like ASMR. Can she get like an Ozempic second opinion? I think it was something to do with her gallbladder, gallstones, that she couldn't do the Ozempic. But she would be a perfect candidate, no? All the girls have done Ozempic. 
I wonder if Amy's life journey has done Ozempic. Probably. We just haven't heard from her. She was the fourth girl, for those that weren't around. Um, she was around in 2020, maybe a little bit into 2021. I couldn't tell ya, but she hasn't been seen since. She had a scandal. If you just search her name, you'll see people made videos about said scandal. We're not going to get into it right now. It's dark. So dead ass, I'm done getting my fingers all like cheesy. So I dead ass. Like yep, that's what I would do like from day Literally one. Literally drinking balls right now. I'm drinking cheese balls. Like who does that? Y'all, we have an Amazon haul. First Girl, notice how she showed it and it was like completely full for the most part. <laughs> You just know that's not going to be there in like five, ten minutes. Things first is this bag right here. I, Ooh, I got an umbrella. Amazon moment today too. New books. That's the thing about Amazon, like Amazon challenge. Try to order a book that doesn't have the corners damaged, especially if it's a hardcover. So I just got a black impossible. Book. Because I don't know where the one that I used to have is, like through the move. Oh, that freaked me like, out. Yeah, I need this because for when it's around. Did you guys hear that knocking? Wait, do we need to investigate? I needed an umbrella. So I just got a black one. Because I don't know where the one that I used to have is, like through the move. I have no idea. Yeah. I need what this. is that? That like creeped me out. You know what it could be? Because um, my dog does this. Twinkie's tail. Like she's wagging her tail and it's knocking on the um, cabinets. That's what my dog does. That's because for when it's raining and I go for walks, you know, what if I have my makeup done or my hair done? Cause like today it was raining. Or it's a when a stranger calls moment. Dun, dun, dun. And I didn't have my umbrella, so my hair got kind of frizzy and stuff. All right, and then this. Gotta love that forward. Amazon As Prime. You Guys know i clean uh, a part of my bed and a part of the couch every single day with like an actual lint roller that like you take off the paper because of my cats because they have like their designated spots that they love but on amazon i have a love hate relationship with amazon like i tried to boycott them for like a month and yeah i did it for like a month and then i went back just because they have a lot of the times the cheapest price out of anybody and i want to save money like i'm not a billionaire Bezos. They have this thingy majigger. It's like a there's no adhesive or sticky tape. It's reusable. So I was like, okay, better for the environment, better for my pocket. I guess you just like lint roll it with this thing. So tomorrow for my Oh, so it's not like one of the ones that you tear off a sheet. Session. I'm gonna use this and see if it actually works. The brand is Chom Chom, so keep our fingers crossed. Okay, guys, so I know a lot of you are asking if I'm gonna do Vlogmas this year. Vlogmas has always been my most favorite. Let me guess, no time of the year like hands down always and i was going back and forth i was weighing out my options and today when i was at the grocery store a christmas she could do like gift giving with her mom every day song came on and it's actually the first christmas song Mariah that i Carey. have heard this year normally when i hear christmas songs like my whole like aura just like jingle bell jingle bell like i'm so pumped because Chris i love the feeling of the mall when you go to the mall and it's decorated for christmas it's very nostalgic for me santa's out and they're playing mariah carey you guys know the vibes you go to get a cinnabon and walk around to bath and body works and see what new scents they have for the season love that vibe Christmas is my favorite time of year. I love the feeling of it. I love the music. I love the decorations. I love everything about Christmas. But when I heard that Christmas song, I instantly like uh, felt like the saddest I've ever felt. Like I physically oh, no. felt my emotional and mental pain. It reminded me of my ex. It reminded me of so many, so many good memories around Christmas time. And it made me realize that. What did they have two Christmases together? I'm not even going to decorate for Christmas this year. And I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, that's stupid. Was her and Feline, their relationship was not as long as Becky, right? No. Mm -mm. It's only two years. Unhealthy, like, that's really weird. Everyone copes differently. And I know that being in my apartment around all of my Christmas decorations. I feel like maybe she should put up some Christmas decorations, girl. You just said that you love the vibe of Christmas and that gets you in a good spirit, in good spirits. So why not put up some, I don't know, 
I feel like she'll regret it. Ones that me and my ex decorated with last year and celebrated with mm. last year. It's Remember she got rid of all the Felines, like all the Bambi ornaments and stuff. It's going to be a constant memory of something that I don't have anymore. Something that I miss. Something that just get something new. I just don't want to. I'm not going to decorate. I'm not doing vlogmas. And so if it was my choice, this is so sad. Amber has been, she has really pulled back on YouTube lately. I wouldn't do any Christmas festivities, but like if my mom wants to do something or my family. And now we're not even going to get Vlogmas. I didn't expect her to do Vlogmas at all because of the reasons that she's outlining right here for us. But I would like to see some Christmas videos from our girl, right? To do something, then obviously I'm going to do it. And I'm going to wholeheartedly enjoy my time with them. Maybe we could do like a holiday journey. <laughs> I'm not going to be like a buzzkill, a Debbie Downer, none mm -mm. of that at all. But me, in my apartment, in my home, I just don't, I just can't, I can't. Like, I miss her so much and it's just like, a lot of people don't understand it and it's totally fine, you don't have to. I feel like she said not that long ago she wasn't going to talk about Feline, but she does that a lot where she says, and foodie too, I'm never going to talk about this ever again. And then she goes right back into talking about it. But I'm actually happy that she is talking about this because I don't want fake vlogs from our girl, right? Where she's just like pretending that everything is perfectly fine. Yeah, I feel like that would be annoying, right? So let's hear what she has to say. She can't stop breaking down. But like everyone struggles differently. Everyone heals from heartbreak differently. I have borderline personality disorder and my ex was my absolute most favorite person in the whole world. And when you have a favorite person, especially when you have BPD, they become your literal everything. And it's like, I'm aware of that. Like I'm able to be so aware. I am so freaking aware that one of the biggest reasons why I'm having such a hard time with. I do wonder if she regrets what she did. And by that here, she says that Feline is her most favorite person in the world, but you really hurt this person by moving on within weeks to this new person on Instagram, even claiming to be in love with them, putting that all out on YouTube. How do you think that made wifey feel to have to essentially be humiliated in front of a large audience? I mean, she really didn't ask for that. And I do think it is humiliating in a way. So is that part of her BPD, that she would do that to wifey, her favorite person ever. I mean, at least wait until they move out, you know, unless you guys have some sort of roommate arrangement where this is just the best in regards to financial situation. But that's not what it was. Yeah, at least wait till they move out. <laughs> Losing her, not only because I loved her dearly, dearly i loved her with all of me dearly, but because i have a dearly. mental illness that is making this hard it's making this feel like it's the end of the world even though i know it's not i have a lot of moments of clarity where i'm like i'm okay i got this i'm amazing i got this that's how i felt like in 10th grade when my first boyfriend broke up with me i thought it was the end of the world now looking back i just saw a girl pop up crying about her boyfriend on TikTok, and i was just thinking to myself it might be cold but this is nothing like you're literally in high school or something i i, I never seen the TikToker before but yeah you just see it as so silly but this is different i mean they were gonna get married question mark <laughs> i have a great future ahead of me and then i have times like right like right now where i just I break down. I'm not going to be sorry about it. I'm not. I need to calm down for the night, but I do want to end this vlog. Is this why she doesn't do many videos? Because it's like this more than we think. I mean, there was multiple TikToks of her crying. She can't even keep it together for a vlog anymore. In every single vlog, we get a breakdown moment. And it's always about Feline. She's having trouble keeping it together just for this 12 minutes. I'm sorry for the bad news, but I just have to do what is... Best for best me. For me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm going to do what's best for me and what's right for me and what makes sense for me. You're spinning a narrative. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's 
video. Amberlynn can't seem to keep it together for just 12 minutes on a YouTube vlog. Vlogmas is not happening because she just doesn't have the content without a partner. It was interesting even last year during the two Feline Vlogmases that we saw. We didn't really get to see Feline. So my favorite Vlogmases are probably 2019 and 2020 specifically, which was her gift giving with Becky. I thought that that was kind of iconic. Like I definitely remember 2020 Vlogmas the most and 2019 when they were putting up ornaments on the tree and it was her, Becky, Eric, and Ricky. 2021 wifey Vlogmas, I don't remember. Last year's, I don't really remember. I mean, those times with Becky were just so memorable and the Feline era just did not have that zing. I mean, 2022, I said on Twitter, was probably the worst year in the Amberverse. That was her wifey only. And many people said she needs side characters, side characters, side characters. Well, now we do kind of have her mom, right? And certain members of her family, although they have not appeared on camera. Will she make friends? I mean, hire side characters. One or the other doesn't matter to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. Say bye, Kyle.